Hi everyone, welcome back to the indoor garden series. Aphids, fungus gnats, and spider mites can quickly ruin your indoor garden party. And YouTube comments are loaded with people asking questions about that. So today I'm gonna to show you how to win the pest control battle with both offensive and defensive strategies. Now it's super important that you control pests on the indoors because there's no natural predators to take care of them for you and they can very quickly get out of control and controlling them is really the secret to a thriving and productive indoor garden. First, let me show you what to look for. Here are the aphids, these little teeny tiny white bugs. And then the red bugs here are the spider mites. Now they're so small, very hard to spot. Another sign of spider mites is when you have spotted leaves like this. So half the battle is knowing what to look for and then you can take care of the problem. The other big problem in indoor gardening are fungus gnats. And you've probably seen them when you bump your plants and they kind of fly up. They're super, super pesky and annoying, and they can lay eggs and infest the soil of your plants and eat away at the roots. So definitely a huge problem in indoor gardening. The first offensive strategy is to sterilize your soil, which is super easy to do. Just put your soil in a little bin and pour some hot boiling water over it. You don't wanna completely um, oversaturate it and the hot boiling water will kill any eggs or gnats that might be in the soil and sterilize it so you can use it for your indoor garden. So just make sure that it's nice and mixed up, nice and moistened, that hot water. Then let it cool off and use it in your garden bug free. Offensive strategy number two is proper watering methods. Now fungus gnats thrive in overly moist soil, so you definitely want to avoid overwatering your plants only water when they need it, and don't water from the top because then uh, fungal diseases can splash from plant to plant. What we're gonna do is water from the bottom. What's that called? You're right, bottom watering. So we're gonna pour some water in our drip tray here. Then let the plants soak it up. And then after about 10 or 15 minutes, make sure you pour off the water so there's no standing water in here for gnats and bugs to breed and that'll go a long ways towards an offensively preventing bugs in your indoor garden. Offensive strategy number three is pruning and keeping your garden area clean. And this is super important because the pests like to harbor in the soil. When you have leaves that you don't need, then it's just giving them more spaces to hide and to lay their eggs. So here on my sp spicy bush basil plant, I have a little branch here that's starting to die off. So I'm just gonna clip it off at the base so the bugs have nowhere to hide under this leaf. And I kind of like to mix around the soil just a little bit, just to kind of loosen it up. And that way it kind of not only helps the plant out, but it helps any fungus gnats uh, fly away and not bother my plant. Now, the other thing we're gonna do here is really keep our garden area nice and clean and tidy. Wipe up any soil that might be spilled. Not only to, to make your garden area look nice, but just to avoid there being any other hiding spots for the bugs. Also, keep your drip trays clean. This one has some sunflower seeds that spilled off my sunflower microgreens. So just rinse out the soil and the seeds about once a week or so, and that way the pests don't have anywhere to hide. We've got our offensive strategies because prevention is always the best cure, but now we're gonna have some fun and go on the defensive when the pests do come in and they will. So the first defensive strategy are these wonderful yellow sticky gnat traps. The fungus gnats are attracted to the color yellow. They get stuck on the sticky surface and then they don't bother my plants anymore. And you can see how well it works. There's one here that's still moving just a little bit, just got stuck. All these fungus gnats, if they weren't stuck on here, they'd be infesting my plants. They work really, really well. These are very inexpensive. You can grab it on Amazon. And I also have two in every month's subscription box. So you just peel off the back, stick them in your containers, and there you go. Defensive strategy number two, when you do get insects on your indoor plants, it's time to bring out the big guns. Organic pesticides that are safe for indoor gardening. And I'm working with Bonide on this, and you all know I've used Bonide products for years because they work. And in this situation here, I'm using insecticidal soap. Now it's safe for indoor gardening, it's a multi-insect control, and it kills on contact. When you've got insects in your house, that's exactly what you want. I'm gonna spray the aphids and spider mites here on my micro tom tomato. I'm gonna spray them directly. And I'm gonna spray about twice a week 
when I have issues like I do on this plant. And the thing that I like about insecticidal soap is that you can spray up until the day of harvest and it really takes care of the bugs quick. So I'm just going to make sure I give a nice thorough spray of the entire plant. And I want to make sure I get the top of the leaves, the bottom of the leaves, and especially these plants that are kind of spotted over here. The insecticidal soap will kill the aphids and spider mites in minutes and eliminate the problem altogether. Let me know in the comments if you've ever dealt with indoor garden pests and if you've ever let the fear of having them in your house stop you from indoor gardening. And also let me know what strategies you're going to try to control them in your house. Definitely worth it to grow your indoor garden. Head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com. Make sure you grab the October Grow Your Groceries with Cali Kim subscription box. The theme is indoor at Mini Veggies and Herbs. So you can get your indoor garden growing. Get $5 off with the code Mini Veggies and $1 towards each box helps support breast cancer awareness. You'll get this free Smart Pots Breast Cancer Awareness pot free with your subscription box purchase. And if you need seeds, the Indoor Garden Seed Collection has varieties to help you grow inside during the winter. 25% off with the code Indoor Garden. You can grab that over at calicamgardenhome.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.